Hi, my name is Dr. Sunil Verma from the UC Irvine School of Medicine. One of the tools as ear, nose, and throat surgeons that we use for examination is called a laryngoscopy. It's a procedure where we use a small camera to look inside of your nose and throat. I'd like to use this as an opportunity to explain it to you. The subject of this video is named Ario. He's actually a medical student, and he's going to take over from here. In order to view your throat and your vocal cords, which are located in the low neck, your doctor will be performing a laryngoscopy. This is an exam where a small scope or camera is passed through the nose and into the throat. The entire exam takes about one minute to perform, and it may feel strange, but it is not painful. Your doctor will first treat your nose with a numbing spray to make the passage of the scope through the nose easy. Gently breathe in through the nose after the spray is performed. The spray is bitter tasting and may make the back of the throat feel numb. The effects of the spray last for 10 to 15 minutes and then they go away. The best posture for this exam is to sit forward with your shoulders relaxed and your chin up. This allows for the throat to open and allows for the best exam. The scope is passed through your nose and then to the back of your throat. In most cases, the doctor uses a scope with an eyepiece. In this case, we're connecting the scope to a screen so that you can see. Three important structures are seen. The first is the epiglottis, and it is located between the tongue and the vocal cords. This helps you swallow. There are two vocal cords. When breathing in, the vocal cords open, which allows air to pass into the windpipe and to the lungs. When making sound, the vocal cords close and vibrate against each other. The pharynx describes the rest of the throat, and this is the area where food and saliva collect before being swallowed. For patients with certain voice disorders, stroboscopy may be performed. This is where a special light is shined upon the vocal cords to watch them vibrate in slow motion. And we can see that here. 